Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Not So Super Fan. Uh, right now, I'm going to give you guys a quick review for the Cars 3 movie. Um, well, this movie, I really enjoyed it. Um, first off, I enjoyed it. Not the best Pixar movie, but I enjoyed it. Speaking of Pixar, um, at the beginning of this movie, there's a there's a mini, like Pixar always have, there's a mini story called Lou. Um, it has to do with Lost and Found. It is very good. It probably it's probably going to be online later on, but definitely good, definitely heartfelt. Shows you what Pixar is about. So, Lou, it's called Lou, but it has it's like Lost and Found. Um, well, let's go ahead and jump right into it and talk about Cars Three. So, Cars Three uh, basically follows the story of Lightning McQueen, who right now is at is at the top. Of it. Everything's going great. He's winning races, having fun. Then. Next thing you know, new cars are coming in. They're taking over, and and they're pushing out all the old cars. Little by little, he sees all the old cars getting pushed out, again retiring, or getting replaced. So since he's the, like he's basically the last one left at this one point of his race, he's racing. He's just pushing himself, and he ends up getting the car crash. And that part, I don't know why we pick, why Pixar would do that to the kids. But I was messed up because I, I literally could hear the little kids in the back. No, no, oh, Nightmare McQueen, no, why? <laughs> but it was good. Uh, it was something new Pixar tried. It, it, like, and it was one of the highlights of the beginning of the movie, the first half of the movie. Then you go into it's kind of the second half of the movie, Lightning McQueen trying to figure, uh, basically trying to get back into the racing game, you know, trying to do one last race to go out with a with a bang. So he goes find uh, train, uh, trying to train with the new technology, trying to get back on it. One thing about this movie, like throughout the second half mid part of this movie, I kind of lost it. You know, I kind of lost interest in the story because it's some part, some plot, or some dialogue throughout this part of the movie, it just felt too long they could have just cut it off they could have moved on to the next part of the movie but they it just kept on going and i just lost track even sometimes when you have this hard moment where it's, you should get the heartfelt moment it took so long in the scene that it just went away you know you didn't feel feel nothing from it and beside that jumping to the the final finale of the movie which was great beautiful you know um i'm pretty sure they're gonna have uh, a spinoff with uh cruz ramirez character to possibly um lightning mcqueen's probably gonna become the new hudson to her lightning mcqueen so it's from what it seems but but that it was a good movie very heartfelt story i would say i would suggest anybody to bring their kids to enjoy it um the only thing is um I feel like this movie, it's, it would be, all right, there's Cars 1, 2, and this one. I would say Cars 1, take two out and put this one. Personally, I feel this one is also one of the weakest um, Pixar movie that came out recently um, beside uh, The Good Dinosaur, but it's still a better movie. Um, but still watchable, still enjoyable. Still not up there with Pixar quality movie that, that you've been seeing lately, but it's still good. Um, I would say, and one another thing is Pixar has been putting out a lot of like Cars three. We get we already getting Frozen to all the other uh, Frozen spinoff with Olaf, and still haven't got a um, incredible sequel. What's going on, Pixar? I think I know a lot of people have been waiting that they, it's gonna be too little, too late when they bring it out. Uh, maybe you know. But I'm still waiting that Incredibles 2 movie. But uh, besides my little rant about that, guys, it's still an enjoyable movie. I would suggest you bring your kids to watch it. It is good. It is Pixar quality movie. It is family friendly. Um, it, the story there is a story there. It is a great story. You know, it's about you know not giving up, getting back up on the horse, and you no, know, no matter how hard it is, it's which is one of the thing I loved about this movie. You know, no matter how hard things get, you know, always get back on the horse and push and it's very, it's a very good message for kids and that's why i would suggest anybody go watch it and i would give this movie a 65 out of 100 and i would suggest anybody to go ahead bring your kids bring your family watch it because it is good
well guys that was my quick review for pixar cars 3 don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing y'all soon Thank <music> you.